Hello guys, for today I will be doing a setup video because so many people have requested it. So we're going to take a look at all the stuff that I have on my computer, in my game settings, uh, in my room, the way I sit. No, no, I don't fuck. I guess this is also a great time to mention why I don't play Face It because people seem to always ask me why I don't play Face It. Several reasons actually. First off, I like to play without delay. I don't want to get stream snapped on Face It, especially in a competitive environment. It's just... It's, it makes people so mad. I'm going to get cancelled on Twitter again. Um, second of all, I gave up playing competitively a long, long time ago, right? I, I played semi-pro in like 2021. Ever since that, I don't have any ambition of becoming good at the game. Like, I don't want to learn any new stuff. Like, for me, this is just my job. I do it. Uh, that's it. Third of all, people on Face It, they're just dead inside. They always think they're better. And I mean, in Premiere, you kind of have the same thing. But on Face It, it's way worse. And I guess the last reason is... No, that's pretty much it, actually. So I asked you guys on stream, what do you guys want to see? I got some notes here. First off, we're starting with the video settings. Keep in mind, guys, it's it's a little bit just random at points. Like, if I get a new computer, I don't even know what the video settings were before, so I just click on something else. I play full screen, 430, 1280 by 960, 240 hertz. The brightness, I mean, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. I don't know why it does this. Uh, advanced video. Boost player contrast is enabled, VSync is disabled, maximum FPS in game is zero, maximum FPS in menus is 240. Uh, G-Sync, uh, I think I have that disabled. I don't even know. I think I have it disabled. Uh, 2X MSAA for multi-sampling. Global shadow quality is high. Dynamic shadows is all. Model texture detail is low. Texture filtering mode is bilinear. Shader detail is high. Particle detail is high. Ambient occlusion is disabled. High dynamic range is quality. And Fidelity FX Super Resolution is disabled, the highest quality. Audio settings, master volume is at 89% most of the time. The ambience volume, I always have it off. I don't like having like background noises when I'm all tabbed. Audio device, default. I mean, for me, it's the... I mean, this is irrelevant, I guess. EQ profiles crisp. Did I ever change this? I don't know. Left, right, isolation is 50%. Uh, perspective correction is no. Uh, play audio when game in background, yes. Uh, other player voice volume. I have this on 140%. I've noticed in Counter-Strike 2 that the voices of my teammates seemed lower than CSGO. The, the way you can change that, if you go to console and you type in VOIP, you look for this command, SND VOIP volume. And I put that on two, I guess the max is 141%. But if you just type two, your teammates will sound a lot louder. It's absolutely goaded if you're a content creator in Counter-Strike. Um, I do push to talk in game and my button for that is C. Uh, that way I can still press WASD and press C at the same time. I'll include like a little video for you guys. Here my own voice is off. Uh, Streamline push to talk is no. Microphone threshold is minus 120. Main menu volume zero. Round start zero, zero, zero. MVP volume 20%. Because I, I like the music kit that I have. It's the goofy one. Uh, bomb hostage, zero. 10 second warning volume, 20. Death camera music, zero. Uh, mute MVP music when players on both teams are alive. No. Uh, all the EQs are default. Then we go over to game. Developer consoles, yes. Uh, max ping, 300. I mean, this changes all the time. Uh, unrestricted max bandwidth. Uh, buffering, none. No. HUD scale is 1, HUD color is yellow, player count is no, large player count? Oh, I didn't know what that was. Community notification, bro, I don't even know what these settings are. Uh, I think this is all just a bit random. The only thing I have different is text filtering. I have that on like on. I don't want to see people, you know, type the n-word when I'm streaming. Uh, is there anything here? Smooth spectator camera off. This is very important when you watch demos because if you like click to swap to a different player, it like goes with a weird zoom. If you have this off, it just insta swaps, which is way better when you're spectating. Yeah, I mean, uh, radar size. This is also an interesting one. Radar tablet. Radar centers to play. Yes. Radar's rotating. Yes. Radar HUD map blends with background. Yes. Blur background. Yes. Uh, radar HUD background opacity is 0 0.63. Radar HUD size is 1. Radar map zoom is 0 0.25. Radar map alternate zoom is 1. Toggle square shape with scoreboard. Interesting. Uh, radar zooming dynamically. No. Four square shape. No. Crosshair. At the moment, this is my crosshair. I've been playing with it for, I mean, over three months minimum. I think this is just the crosshair that I will keep for forever. Uh, I don't really work with 
the the plus sign crosshairs anymore. Uh, I don't know. The dot crosshair to me is just superior for some reason. Yeah, so player crosshairs, everyone. Show my crosshair when inspecting your bots. Uh, delay sniper unscope. No shows. I don't know. You guys can just go through this yourself as well. I don't even know what this is. Grenades lineup radical. I only have this on for smoke grenades because I hate it when I'm holding a flashbang and it just starts showing the green line. Uh, damage prediction. I have a no-no yes. Uh, sometimes I play with everything on. Sometimes I play with everything off. Um, now I'm playing with the last one on. It just kind of depends. Telemetry, not important. Uh, and then we go over to the keyboard mouse. I will also update my config because you guys always ask me, oh, update your config when I literally haven't changed anything for the last two years. Uh, but I will. Okay, you guys can find that over on my site, neoxhs.com. Uh, reverse mouse, obviously off. Duck mode is hold. Walk mode is hold. Zoom button is repeat disabled. Mouse sensitivity. I play on 1.25 sensitivity with 800 DPI. I used to play 2.5 at 400. I don't know why I changed. Maybe that's the reason I'm washed now. Zoom sensitivity multiplier 1. Um, yeah, move forward W, move backward S, move left A, move right D. Walk is left shift, duck is left control, jump is space, use is E, fire is mouse 1, secondary fire is mouse 2, reload is R, uh, drop weapon G. Uh, my inspect weapon is on page down. Um, I don't really want to inspect my weapon on accident when I'm like playing. Switch view models H, buy menu is B, auto buy is F3, rebuy is F4, primary weapon 1, secondary 2, melee 3. Uh, psycho grenades, I have that on T. Explosives and traps on 5. HE grenade, I have on 4. Flashbang is on mouse 5. Most of the time when you're throwing a flashbang, you're like setting it up for your teammates. So that's the reason why I do it on my mouse. Normally, I recommend doing nothing on your mouse because it will impact your aim. Smoke grenade, this is not accurate actually. I don't know why it says this. Smoke grenade for me is on caps lock. Uh, my Molotov is on Q. So everything is like within hand reach. If you're still using cycle grenades, you got to get off of that now. Like I used the cycle grenades for a very long time before I realized it was far inferior to just having it on buttons. For example, if you get full blinded, let's say you get flashbanged holding an angle, you will know what you're holding based on what you press. If you're scrolling, you don't know 100% what you have in your hand, unless you got some Spider-Man sense amount of muscle memory. I don't know. Uh, but if you're getting flashbang, you press Q, you left click, you know you're throwing a Molotov. That's the reason why you want to do it. Zeus, yeah, I don't have that. Health shot, X. Scoreboard is on tab. Choose team is on M. Toggle console F10. Player ping mouse 3. Radio message is on Z. The, the reason why I only have radio message is because I just use this for bots, I believe. This is the, like the confirmation, like hold position, yes. Uh, team message is U. Chat message is Y. Use microphone C. And that's about it. And that's it for the in-game settings. Okay, now we head over to the NVIDIA tab because you guys probably also want to see that. We go to the NVIDIA control panel. So G-Sync is off. Reason being, I don't remember. I think it caused like some input lag. So maybe that's why I have it off. Adjust desktop size and position. I'm playing on full screen. Uh, the perform scaling is on display. I have the override off. Yeah, I don't know if this... Uh, I don't know if this really is it. Yeah, it just says use global setting. I don't know. I don't think I've set up any Counter-Strike settings. Uh, as for the video or the adjust image settings with preview, uh, you always want to use performance. Um, so I just have this on performance. If you have it on performance, you obviously get the most FPS, maybe a little bit less quality, but that's what you want. Video color settings, defaults. I mean, I used to have this like saturated, but it looks a little bit weird on stream. So I just have it on default now. Okay, and some people wanted to see my uh, booting settings. Uh, the actuation points, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on 2. I have W on 0 0.8, A on 1, D on 1, S on 1 1.5. Uh, left shift, I have on 2. Left control, I have on 2. The Windows key. It happened a lot where I pressed the Windows key and I lost the route. I have that on 4. If I could, I would just disable it unless I'm not in game. Rapid trigger, I have on WASD, I have it on 0 0.5, I have it on left shift, and I have it on control. And I guess to finish off, we are going to do a little setup tour of my room, what I'm using, uh, my seating position, what chair I use, what headphones, what I eat in the morning. Uh, 
As for the gaming setup, I'm going to start from the bottom, then we work our way up. Um, I have two computers. One is my streaming computer, where all the streaming and recording gets done. The other one is my gaming computer. I will leave either the specs on the screen or in the description. Um, I'm going to have to try and find them. This one I actually recently upgraded. That one, I think, is over four years old. Then we head over here. This mouse pad, I think it's the Corsair MM300 or the MM350. Now, this specific size for this model, I cannot seem to find anymore. I wanted to upgrade uh, like some time ago. I couldn't find the mouse pad. So if anyone knows where I can find a 40 by 40 centimeter mouse pad, which is exactly like this one, please let me know. I'll buy it. Uh, the mouse is a Razer Def Adder V4 Pro. This was sent to me by Razer. I was looking for an upgrade. And honestly, it's a really good mouse. Do I like it more than the G Pro Superlight? I don't know, but it's just a good mouse. As for the keyboard, I have a Wooting 80HE, and honestly, this is the best keyboard I've ever had in my life. If you guys are planning on ever buying one, please do so using my link, because I'm an affiliate with them. This was my old keyboard, the HyperX Alloy Red. I now use it for my streaming computer, uh, paired with a Vaxi mouse. This was also sent to me for free by Vaxi, so shout out Vaxi. And with a very small Zowie mouse pad, which I got from Zowie at their event. So shout out Zowie. Uh, streaming deck. This is just for my sound effects, for recording, for the lights, etc. As for the lights, I'm using Elgato, I think, key lights. But I can control them with the stream deck, which is pretty cool. Like, I can just do a boop. boop. This is my GoXLR mixer. This is pretty much where all the audio runs through. It has a couple features. Like, I can use this to... Um, lower or up the sound of the music on the stream this is like for my windows sounds uh this is for my headphone sounds just so just for me not for the streamer or for anything um this is for the the sound effects so if i do like a sound effect then you guys will hear it um this is for the microphone all of this like uh if you guys remember the kenny s mic that's how i do it as for the headphones um these are the hyper x cloud 2 i believe I've been using these for years, I, as long as I can remember. The reason being is they're just so comfy on my ears. Like, it's a perfect fit. They're lightweight. I just fuck with them. Uh, as for the microphone, it's a Shure SM7B. Fun story, this is the first professional microphone I've ever bought, and I'm still using it. Um, I kid you not, probably six years later, it's just that good of a microphone. I'm using it on a Rhodes mic arm stand. Um, as for the monitors, I'm using BenQ Zowie monitors. I don't know how long I've been using them for, but basically as long as I can remember. I'm pretty sure this is a 240Hz. That is a 240Hz. And this one is a 360Hz, but I run it on 240Hz because my streaming setup with the computers only allows me to run it at 240Hz. Otherwise, it like messes up and creates a delay. As for the camera, uh, again, I'll leave like a link in the description uh, with the specs and whatever. I've also only bought that camera. Like this is my first ever professional camera that I use for the stream and I've been using it since. And honestly, I could not be bothered to buy a new one. I think this is also like the cheapest one I could find. So <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the setup. Uh, the chair, oh wait, almost forgot the chair guys. The chair. It's a Herman Miller Aeron, which was quite expensive. I think I bought this for about 1200 euros, but I just figured, you know, if I'm going to be spending 10 hours a day on a chair, best do it on a very good chair. And I do honestly really like it. Is it worth 1200? I don't know, maybe. Uh, the seating position changes as well. Like sometimes it sit higher, sometimes it sit lower. Basically, um, my hand kind of floats. I guess, like, this is kind of how I keep it. Basically, I just turn into, like, a casual gamer. I don't even know if this is the correct thing, but I use my wrist mainly for aiming. Oh, yeah, the mouse holding. Oh, that's also probably important, right? I'll just film my hands. I'm not even going to, like, look at the recording. And then hopefully we can get, like, a real natural feel for it. Yeah, that's going to conclude it, guys. Hopefully you guys don't copy my settings because settings don't mean shit. And if you put, copy my settings, you're still going to be bad at the game. So I recommend watching some tutorials on YouTube how to get better. And thank you guys for watching. And peace out.